recorded. Hello, everyone. Welcome to From the Heart. I'm Joshua. And I'm Mary. And we're excited to bring to you all that's new and good when it comes <laughs> to the arts in Central Florida. Today, we're talking with Robert Hill, artistic director of the Orlando Ballet Company. And we're going to hear about the experiences that led Robert to us today. Yay. Welcome Hi, Robert. back, Robert. <laughs> so great to be here. We're, We're having glad fun. To have you. Good. So, you know, you've had you're experiencing an incredible career now as an artistic director, but you had such an illustrious career as a dancer. Can you tell us how that began and, and maybe a little bit about the journey of becoming a dancer? Yeah. Um, I started late. Uh, I was in high school and I was um, on wanting to be on the diving team and, and studying gymnastics and both in the same day I think they were in cahoots my gymnastics coach and my diving coach both suggested that I go and take ballet classes because oh. they wanted me to polish my presentation and I was like, seriously <laughs> you know like, boys don't do ballet you know? so uh, especially in Merritt Island Florida you know where I grew up um, and that was it so I was like 15 16 17 type of thing when I started and and it didn't take very long at all before everything else went away. And wow. I just Did I just it just went. come natural to you? Yeah. Did you have the flexibility? I was already quite adept at gymnastics and f basically floor exercises as well, you know, so I was very limber and, and I just had the body that works for ballet, you know, my hips mm -hmm. opened and turned out and my feet pointed and, and um, yeah, it just, um, I don't know, it was meant to be. Did you Love do it. any dance before that at all? I mean, no. So, 16, first time dancing. Except, you know, me and my sister hanging out right, in the garage dancing to Michael Jackson <laughs> little <laughs> records and things like that, you know? <laughs> so you so, discovered that you loved ballet, and then yeah. what? And then um, I was getting close to graduating high school, so we had to figure out what to do. So the people who I trained with, Liz Dusich and um, Al Packard, they actually took me up to New York. Al Packard took me up to New York and let me audition for a lot of places, including the Joffrey and da 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 da, da. Wow. And, wow. and I got a scholarship to the School of American Ballet, which is the school affiliated with New York City Ballet. Hmm. Uh, and then I got a scholarship to the College of Performing Arts in Philadelphia. So, so that was what I did uh, the, that summer after graduating high school, and then I went to Philly, and I didn't like being in school anymore, so I wanted to perform. Mm. So I got into this company in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and she was, the director was a former dancer with ABT, got me an audition with ABT, and two years later I was accepted into American Ballet Theater. Wow, and how long did you work with them? Uh, 1981 to 2000, 20 years. Wow. Yeah. So was that your only professional company you were ever with? No, there? there was a period of about five years in there that I, I went away, uh -huh. uh, and I danced with um, the Royal Ballet in London, La Scala in Milan. Oh, you um, did go away. <laughs> yeah, I, I travel a lot. I guested with the San Francisco Ballet. Um, I went all over the world. I oh, danced cool. with the Scottish Ballet. What was your favorite part of dancing? Like, in what about being a dancer and actually in the throes of in the zone of a dance? What's the best part, mm. or some of the best parts? I th I I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but I think the things that I remember. It's, you know, having those moments on the stage that you'll never experience again, mm -hmm. you know? And they're very, very special, especially with the pas de deux, you know, a, a, a duet. Um, and, and you're playing a character, so you're forgetting about yourself, and it's, you're just doing this magical, and the magical, magical music behind you. I don't know, it's having these moments that you will, that's it, right there, once only, mm -hmm. you know? and. Um, you keep looking for something else to top that. Now you were a partner dancer, right? I mean, that that really was in the big <clears> roles. <throat> you were the partner, right? I mean, that. Yeah, I was Prince Charming. Prince Charming. You were Prince Charming. You were Romeo, Romeo and Romeo and Juliet. Exactly. Yeah. So every time I watch ballet, though, and I, I watch your role, get ready to catch the girl or yeah. lift the girl or throw the girl, right. and I get so scared for you. Like, were you always nervous in that, or was it just something so natural for you that you? <sighs> knew you were going to catch the girl and you knew you were going to be able to? Yeah, I was very confident about that. I, I was very fortunate to have really terrific male dancers that mentored me as mm -hmm. I, after I joined American Ballet Theater. I mean, Mikhail Baryshnikov was one who hired me. He was the director of the company wow. at the time. Amazing. So, and he was still dancing in his prime at the time. So I got all this 
visual, and then the information in the studio about you know some the, the current artistic director Kevin McKenzie, also a great partner. So I had these amazing guys who were giving me the secrets mm. about partnering. What you know? is something Bereshnov said to you, and what was he like? Uh, very strong character. Um, he said a lot of really helpful things. Uh, you, you can imagine, you know, somebody who was Mikhail Baryshnikov, yeah. you know. Um, what did he not say that wasn't wonderful? I mean, I feel like everything he probably told you was helpful in some yeah, way. I or... mean, you know, it, it, Im imagine, you know, any any performer, any director, you know. I mean, it's there's people. There's people who, you know, have criticized me. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't make everybody happy in the company and everything. So, so he had a lot of that too, mm -hmm. you know, and some of it from me, mm -hmm. you know. I mean. Uh, but but you know to have someone that iconic you know they they're they're up here mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and um, I, I feel very fortunate to have had the opportunity to, to be hired by him and mm -hmm. to to work under him. Mm -hmm. So you danced until <clears throat> how old were you when you retired as a dancer? Forty one, which is unheard of, right? I think we were talking about this earlier in in today's standards of ballet. That's unheard yeah, of. I think pretty much, especially for men. You know, the women can dance a little bit longer than mm -hmm. than the men. Because uh, they don't get quite so beat up, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, physically. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also learning how to take care of our bodies more right. as a society mm -hmm. through nutrition and how to exercise and right. music that helps. But you know, I mean, it, 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 for the men, you know, you've got the, the 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 physical aspect of it, you know, and and it's like you, you look at the skaters, you look at the gymnasts every every year. The level goes up, and it's the same thing with ballet. Mm -hmm. So you have kids nowadays, like our kids in the school, who are like 15, 16 years old, and they can already do everything. Mm -hmm. They can do the entire mm -hmm. classical repertory. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't know what to do with it, <laughs> right. but physically they can do it. You but know? emotionally, can they bring that same? No, can they connect? To no. Them? So yeah. the point is that you know you you get artistically mature mm -hmm. um, as your body and hopefully that happens quickly so that the body doesn't start to decline while you're still climbing in terms of your artistic expression you know so. well, what's one of your most proud moments as a dancer and as a artistic director what are some accomplishments um, Wow you know I had a really very fortunate career I danced um, all over the world some mm -hmm. of the greatest stages greatest opera houses, you know, with mm. great companies, great directors, and amazing, amazing ballerinas. So um, I think that, you know, it's very broad, you know. So, um, and as a director, I I'm actually very, very proud of what I'm doing right now with mm. the Orlando Ballet, you know. And um, I don't sort of do this thing of lament or if only it was like that. I always feel like it's always going to get better. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe one day I'll grow up. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> I always have this feeling that everything's just going to continue to get. At, at, be, well, it has so far. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and why not? And why should it stop? <laughs> you know, I mean, really. I'm curious. What's the best advice you would give a young dancer? That was just what I was going to ask. Really, mm -hmm. we do that a lot. Totally. <laughs> I, I think the most common answer, because I get that question a lot, um, is. Uh, if someone's mother or father comes to me and says, you know, what do you think about, and, and you know, if, if that child can only think about dance, mm. then encourage it. Mm. But if it's wow. not a full, 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 full play, it's not worth it. Mm. It's a hard life. Hard. Financially, it's not very, very rewarding unless you reach, you know, superstar status. Um, and, you know, seriously, in order to do it well, I think that you have to be that committed to it, mm -hmm. you know? That's, so that's my advice. That's mm. a beautiful answer. Mm -hmm. It's been such a pleasure chatting with you, but we get to come back and hear a little bit about your future. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> if I say that one more time, slap me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get in trouble. We're here with Robert Hill, and fortunately, we get to come back with Robert Hill. So please join us from the heart. <laughs>